Hey all, Rob Cairns here. Before we get to this week's episode, uh, please note this episode is sponsored by StunningDigitalMarketing.com, the agency for all your digital marketing needs. This week, I'm going to talk about how to manage your digital photos. So you want to sit back and relax and enjoy this week's episode. Rob Cairns here. I'm the CEO and Chief Creator of Amazing Ideas at StunningDigitalMarketing.com. In our last episode, I talked about how to protect your Windows computer and your website. I also explained you need to do this for your personal life as well as your business life. Today, I want to talk about one of the most precious things we have, and that is our digital photos. I'm going to explain how I manage my photos as well as back them up. This is so key because we don't really print photos anymore the way we used to. I will also give you a tip on where and can in the U.S. to get your photos printed at a reasonable cost. I have digital photos all the way back to 2001. This makes for a large photo collection. I've organized my photos by years. Then in each year, I have quarters as follows. January to March, April to June, July to September, October to December. In each quarter, I then have event subject folders. It is really that simple. On my laptop, I have all the photos for the last four years. Everything else, I store on a USB hard drive, as I do not access them as frequently. The key is to have a filing system that works for you. If you do not have a system, it's like garbage in, garbage out. Now, backing up your photos. Now that we have a system for storing our photos, we now need to back up our most precious memories. I use a combination of Google Photos, Amazon Photos, and external hard drives. Now let's start off by saying Amazon, F Amazon Photos is free for Amazon Prime members. Amazon gives you unlimited storage space and does not shrink the resolution of your photos. This alone makes Prime such a good deal at 79 Canadian a year. Google Photos will store your photos for free. If you use what is called their HD resolution, which is about 80% of the original quality. This is ample for sharing. Using online and even printing up to 16 by 20, which I did recently. All that's required for Google Photos is a free Gmail account or paid G Suite account. If you want to store your photos in full resolution on Google Photos, the space you use counts towards your Google Drive limit. Now, as I mentioned, I store my last four to five years on my laptop and all photos on a USB hard drive, which sits near my computer. I also make a copy on the hard drive, on a hard drive, which I store off-site at a friend's place. That's the key, off-site backup, folks. One of the things that I do is have Google Photos apps on my Android smartphone and Android tablet. I have the app set to upload any new photos the minute I connect to a Wi-Fi network. This backs up the photos real time in case something happens to my phone or my tablet. Now, just a little caveat here. If you install the Google Photos app on iOS, on an iPad or an iPhone, you actually need to go into the app for it to run. Um, in the iOS environment, they don't run apps in the background, so that's just something to keep in mind. Now I store all my photos in their HD format, which makes the storage free. I have all my digital photos since 2001 on Google Photos. The naming convention I use on Google Photos is year slash event name slash month. This makes it easy to find things. The other cool thing with Google Photos is you can search for certain people or even certain pets. Remember, Google is a search company and they leverage what they have on Google Photos. I also store full resolution copy of all my photos in the Amazon Photos. I mirror the exact structure of my hard drive to make it easier to find things. I also keep copies on a second hard drive as I mentioned off-site because if something all else fails I still got another copy. I know some people are going to say this is overkill, but for me, the most precious memories I have are photos. 
These cannot be replaced in any way, so I treat them that way. When I shared photos with others, I always send a Google Photos link. Google makes this easy to do with the app, and even so on a mobile device. Now the other thing I should tell you is to manage Google Photos on an Android tablet, an iPhone, an Android smartphone is easy. To create albums, to tag stuff, to drop them in the albums, it really works well mobile folks. And typically that's what I do, is I actually manage my photos in Google Photos, often on my Android tablet sitting in front of the TV. So just food for thought. Now, I promised you a special tip on where to get photos printed at the top of this podcast. For me, there's only one choice, and that's Costco. Recently, I had a 16 by 20 poster printed. Next day, availability for $8.99 Canadian. You can't beat that. And even down to uh, four by sixes, they're like something like 11 or 17 cents. Next day, you can go in and get one hour service. They charge a little more, but you know what? It's great resolution, great photo paper. If you have a Costco membership, check them out. They make the process so easy. The website's easy to use from home. You upload, away you go. I just want to say I hope this episode has helped you get some ideas how to manage your photo collection and how to back up your most precious memories. If I can help you in any way, as always, please email me at vip at stunningdigitalmarketing.com. For more tips and tricks, check out our website at stunningdigitalmarketing.com. To get marketing, business, WordPress, and life tips to your inbox, please sign up for a free marketing newsletter at stunningdigitalmarketing.com slash free. I really promise you, no hard sales, just information to help you succeed in business life, no credit card required, no sharing of my email list, none of that. Your privacy is safe with us. As always, this podcast is dedicated to my late father, Bruce Cairns. Dad, I love you and I miss you every day. Keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. Make your business succeed.